Now it's a long and tedious way to uh, to get Assad to the throne of the actual UA UAR. So we need to do uh, the uh, restore Arab unity. Do we have enough trucks now? No, we still missed 2,000 trucks. Nothing else is going on in the world. American Republic's peaceful. All of these guys are peaceful. I mean, what what am I expecting? I mean, this is a modern world. We have one major civil war and nothing much else, really. Right, I guess I'm going to prepare for the war against uh, Palestine. So... They have they inherited all of the so-called Israeli forts. Ooh, okay. Let's bring, for example, these guys over here. Go over there. We're gonna take them out from two sides. So just fine. Oh, we need six more political power. Alright, let's improve our, our artillery. Too bad that they didn't put the icons for our artillery. Wondering where their army is. Oh, they have one division. Ha 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 ha. That's gonna be fun. Right, first step to Arab unity. Take care of Palestine. And that's gonna take us a year. So, we need to be patient. But after that, we will finally have a land route that connects us. Then we will widen that that route. Then we will take care of Saudi Arabia. And then we will have to take out the Titan himself, Saddam. Seems that the uh, Sahara Road is almost ready for use. The desert has never seen so much infrastructure, to be honest. Some Sharaf. All right, let's go for Damascus Police Authority. What does the common ground give us decryption? Uh, we'll get that eventually. Right now, I just want to go for President Assad and the benefits he gives me. This is too far ahead. We should probably start working on our Air Force, just saying. We'll need it against uh, Sada Saddam, yeah. So that was going to probably scoot us to death, or scut us to death, whatever you call it. Oh, there's that one Palestinian division. Transitional government in Ethiopia, so again, we're not gonna see Derg. Derg rarely takes control of Ethiopia. Ah well. Now who's winning this war? Is it the, uh, the Islamists? Probably, because these guys are pathetic. Most of them combined don't have the army of the uh, Islamists. The military clique is still stronger than the Ba'ath party. We cannot 
have that. No, 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 no. Wondering what will happen if I killed off uh, the Assadists. Trial the criminals, establish military tribunals, fear campaign, purge rebellious generals. What else? I should probably get a rocket artillery as well. Where's my uh, truck, 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 truck? Where's the truck? Oh, there it is. Um, yes. Uh, trial of the criminals, purge of rebellious generals, anti-Assad propaganda, tyranny in Syria, fight the remaining traitors, capture foreign aid, <laughs> Arab post Cold War equipment, capture foreign aid. Who for, who aided them? Promote discipline, forge a new military order, reintegrate the nation, seize disloyal farms, political supremacy, Egypt's new role. That's a bad path. You get literally the worst stuff. So, this is giving me civilian factories. Ooh, this gives me production and military factories. We shall see what I go for. Anyway, uh, proceed with enforce the old rule of law. If we go rebuild Syria, the international airport, Syrian war economy, promote civil cooperation, create a sustainable target, Economic injections. New Eastern plan. Seize Assad assets. Central bank profits. This could be good um, when we go to war against Saddam. So I may go for that. This one's probably the worst. The only good thing is the research slot. But not that we need it. I'm perfectly fine with four, to be honest. Alright, we should start exercising. We have plenty motorized. I should pr produce more now that I can. Let's build ten more. Which is 50,000 more troops. We'll need a shit ton more to fight Saddam. So after this, we go for restoring Arab, Arab uh, unity, and then we go for uh, the freedom for family election with Bashar, uh, election with Bashar, and then President Assad. I think that's where I'm going to end the recording session for now. Because it definitely took us a while to get there. It's been uh, two years, almost, f it's going to be three years, uh, in order for us to get Assad. I'm hoping that, oh, Nick Clegg with, of the Liberal Democrats took charge. Oh, that is uh, very, very fascinating. Um... Oh, military factory construction speed, military leader cost. I could use that. Yes, I shall go for that. Thank you. Where are we building? Yeah, best infrastructure in Egypt. Not along the Cairo. <laughs> in the fucking Western Sahara Desert. You can't make this shit up. Well, it's going to be better when we um, stage an invasion of Libya. Yes, an invasion. Uh, it's more more going to be uh, an intervention. So, we've enforced the old rule of law. And let us proceed to get the restoration of Arab unity. Or are we going to war with Palestine? 14th of February, so we may actually take Palestine within uh, the, the uh, time limit of this video. Which is nice. And I'm gonna get a fucking nuke. What? 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 
Fix this, please. I've just created... My God. I guess he looks the most Arab. Marcus Wilson. God. Yes, very... Yeah, you can notice the Arab features on his face. Slavia has a pretty decent military and the uh, the industry. Germany is utterly cucked. So is Russia. At least they started doing something. Like Comrade General. Well, what the hell is that? Right. Delay. Ooh, yeah, we may see Pope return. They've met with the Pope, so... Where is the meeting with the Pope? Somewhere over here, probably. Okay, let's get a bomber, we'll need that for nukes. And the modernized rocket artillery will need them to take out Assad. Assad, I'm not Assad. Right, when it comes to the Air Force, I'm on battlefield support. Uh, yes, I was about to see what did Italy take. Domestic policy. <laughs> Promote gender report. Mafia alliance. Appease the Catholics. Hmm. President speech. I think they could have gone with... Yes, meet the Pope. They went with appease the Catholics. So they are going to arrest the Communist Party. And it could happen that they either go Mussolini. Or... Well, Mussolini, royalty, or Pope. Okay. Red card. Well, seriously? That's the thing. Where the fuck am I? Okay. So we restored national unity. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Freedom for the family. Let's go. It's happening. Freedom for the family, and then we're gonna go with with uh, the elections with Bashar. And then President Assad. Right, everyone's ready for the invasion of Palestine, pretty much. They've created some divisions, but we've created some ourselves. Fighter, strategic bomber. I guess I'll go for strategic bombers because we'll need them. So yeah, soon we're going to war to take out Palestine and finally connect our two republics. What now the third one? We're going to have three republics, then we're going to have a fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and Sudan, twelve, and Yemen, thirteen. And I don't know if we're going to count these. I guess we are. So, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 republics in, in total, I guess. I guess. Very interesting indeed. Still building roads everywhere.
Libya is pretty much at the standstill. Nobody's moving anywhere. It's just a Bob Ross painting pretty much right now. Very peaceful. There we go. Let's go and take back our land. Just walk in there. There we go. That's it. Swift action and we're connected. Alright, next target. Jordan. Start justifying. Oh, we need four more. Oh, we got some military factories. How nice. Alright, we're going to start producing a rocket artillery. And freedom for the family, finally. Right. Election with Bashar. Okay, we've got... Uh, let's start justifying against both Jordan and against Lebanon. <laughs> this guy looks very, very angry that we've, we've done that. Our navy is actually pretty decent. I mean, 14 destroyers, not seem too shabby. More divisions ready to hit the field. More are coming even sooner. I can I can lax when it comes to guns. I need more on the, on the trucks. We need more trucks. Okay, seven divisions. Right, you guys are gonna take care of Lebanon. They're going to be under Marcus Jones, who looks exactly like his brother. So we're not going to use Marcus Jones. We're going to use Peter Brown, because that's a very Arab name. So in total, we have, oh, Italian Congress overthrown. What's that gonna happen? What's gonna happen right now? We're down now. <laughs> Will we see the Pope? Pope's not gonna be happy that we've taken <laughs> Palestine. It's again in the. It's gonna be in Baathist hands. I mean, we're gonna be secular, but I'm pretty sure he wants it Christian. Second coup in Rome. Damn. What the hell are you guys doing? So a military clique in, of the Communist Party under Vincenzo Camporini. Why did I say that? Very, very nasty. Oh god, I just... Ugh. Uh, what can you do? Right in seven days, we're going to have the elections with Bashar. Pope France, yep, we have Pope. But that's the red. We have a Pope leading the communist. Holy see, communist, holy see. Holy she. All right. Let's go for improved military camouflage and elections. Presidential election. Campaigning has concluded, concluded and all candidates are ready to face the results of this year's presidential election. As the first democratic election in Egypt's history, it was still not deemed to totally free or fair by international observers, as only members of the Arab Socialist Union were permitted to run. 
However, each candidate within the political party represents quite different ideologies and programs, giving our citizens a real choice. The most surprising turn of, of uh, turn out turnout of, the, of this vote, however, is the return of Bashar al-Assad to the national prominence. After winning the highest office in Syria for election and having led the Ba'ath party to legality, Assad resigned as leader to once again join the Arab socialists in order to become eligible. Boom. And now we have moderate socialists <laughs> under Bashar al-Assad. Glorious. Very glorious. So, we're not Nazbol. We're not Nazbol. We are a socialist. But does that make a difference? Does it? And now I'm wondering just uh, if there's any advantage, uh, anything for the focus. Where is it? No, 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 no. Nothing there. Now I'm wondering over here. Nothing's going to open up, right? No, it seems it does. Okay, so just um, just uh, because we could change this uh, to this because it's li it literally doesn't matter. Um, I guess I could stay the Arab Socialist Union. Because, again, he will lead the Ba'ath party, but, um, yeah, what do you guys want? I'll just end the episode here, and I'll leave a poll in the comment section. Well, just vote down below. If you see the comment that says, Arab Socialist Union under Assad, say that, and leave a like. Don't spam it. Uh, if you see Ba'ath party, and someone posted it before, you just like it, and that's it. Anyway, I'm just gonna revert it back to... Moderate socialist. There we go. And uh, I'm going to save it here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And tell me if I should go with moderate socialist Bashar al-Assad or Ba'ath party Bashar al-Assad. I would prefer this, but then again, they changed the flag. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.